What do we do with the veggies that are ready to expire? Or what do we do when we want a crunchy snack? How can we get protein without always drinking a shake? Today on Neri's Kitchen, I'll be giving you food tips from the Fit Fam. These four came from our member, Charlene. Hey Charlene, thanks for coming on Neri's Kitchen. Thanks for having me. Awesome. So I want to ask you, Charlene, what do we do with the vegetables that are about to expire or are wilted? So for, I think um, I can speak to wilted vegetables. So if you have vegetables like lettuce, um, maybe carrots, anything that is um, dehydrated, um, even uh, peppers, uh, there is no need to throw them out. You would just get a container with water and then put some ice in there. And these ones are not wilted, but just as an example, you'd put your wilted vegetables in there, leave them maybe even overnight in the fridge. Um, you could leave them on the counter, but you can leave them in the fridge. And the next day you should be able to uh, take them out and they would be fine. But I should clarify for lettuce, you, you, um, if you had a bundle of it, um, you don't have to have it completely submerged in water, but as long as you know the, it, it is in some water and allowed to rehydrate. So you're saying if I want to eat a nice green salad, just put submerge it in, or partially submerge it in water, and then I will have nice crispy lettuce? Yes, if it's wilted. Wow. Yes, you don't need Good to throw to it out. Do not throw it out. <laughs> We make friends so, with salad, right? <laughs> yes. Another tip that I use at home, if I notice that it's just starting to wilt my leaves, I'll just wet a paper towel, wrap the paper towel yes. around the lettuce mm -hmm. or um, romaine, whatever it is, and put it in the fridge. And usually it's yeah. fine by the next day. I actually do that. Mm -hmm. I've actually mentioned the paper towel trick. If you just wrap your vegetables in the paper towel, it will absorb the moisture and it'll keep exactly. longer as well. Good tip. What about if we're craving a crunchy snack? My recommendation would be to cut up a bunch of vegetables and place them in a container in your fridge. And for certain vegetables you can um, that you want to leave longer in the fridge, like carrots, uh, something like these veg carrots that I've cut up, it's not a bad idea as well to put some water in them. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have water in here, but if, um, you know, again, just a little bit of water and then you can put them in the fridge, close it up, and then when someone wants a carrot, they can open it up and it uh, maintains the crunchiness and the strong tuger in the carrot. Yeah, so that's okay. what would be my recommendation because if they're not cut up, nobody's going to eat them. Yes, because no one wants to so. peel the carrots. It's a lot of work. Wash the carrots mm -hmm. and then you have to chop up the carrots. Mm -hmm. It is a lot of work, you're right. Yeah, that's right. Good to know. So a lot of people have a candy stash but instead we can have a protein stash, correct? Correct. Okay. So what do you mean by a protein stash? So what I am referring to is, um, so this is something more that I would do uh, for, have for when I'm at work and place a bunch of items um, in a drawer because sometimes I forget my food. Yes. Or uh, maybe what I have I don't want to eat. Um, so here's a couple of items that uh, I've gotten from Costco and they're high in protein, 16 grams of protein and low in carbohydrates. So, and uh, and fat as well, low in both. And, and so what is this exactly? It's So tuna? this is, yeah, albacore tuna. Tuna with crackers. Correct. Nice, okay. With, and rice crackers. So again, a lower carbohydrate snack. Other items I have are tins of tuna. So, I mean, you can get any kinds that you want. And again, I just have you know, about four of these. I, again, go to Costco, get some chicken in a tin. I know it sounds disgusting, you know but it's what? actually it's not bad. You know it's funny you mention this because one of our members, Caroline, actually told us to go to Costco to buy this exact brand. And she yes. said it tastes amazing. I've never actually tried it, but you're the second person that's told me that. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Um, you can get it, I think they come in bundles of four. And again, low fat, uh, again, not that the fat is necessarily a concern, but the protein, 13 grams. And then again, it tells you by your portion, by quarter cup and carbohydrates, none, no sugar. So it's, it's fairly healthy, open it up, drain it add some salt and pepper or whatever it is that you want to add to your chicken. So again, it's it's nice if you're at work and don't have anything. Uh, another item from Costco, 
is a fair leaf 30 grams of protein drink that I have. Again, it doesn't need to be refrigerated. It does have an expiry date, but it's fairly lengthy. August 2022 is an example. Um, chili is another one um, from Costco, and uh, it has a, it's a really good source of protein, 14 grams. So you could open this up, microwave it at work. And again, even for at home, because sometimes you're at home, you need a quick lunch and you don't know what to make and that it can be really quick to grab something unhealthy and then you have these options. Absolutely. You know what? I actually have stashes of this too in my work mm -hmm. stash. I don't have the chili, but this is a great idea. Now, Charlene, I know that water is healthy for you and we're told to drink a lot of water, but I have a hard time drinking water sometimes. So what are some tips that you have for making water more um, <laughs> more pleasurable? <laughs> No, that's a good question. I am exactly the same. So I would say um, having a container of water um, at your desk, on your counter at home. So I would use this one as an example and uh, freshing it up with some um, herbs. And um, so one of them that I put in water is mint leaves. So you can buy them um, in this, uh, in the fruit and vegetable section in this kind of a container. Make sure you wash them well because there's lots of pesticides and things on them. Even though they say, I think organic, I think you still need to give them a good wash. So that's really important. Put a bunch in there and you can leave it at room temperature, but I also like to add ice or something about it that just freshens it up. I'll put some ice in there. I can already smell the mint leaves. Doesn't it smell nice? It, smell, it just, it woke me up. It's so it smells nice mm -hmm. and refreshing. So I've washed these lemons, or this lemon, and then I usually put a couple of lemons in there. Again, it's all depending on the size of your container. You don't want to put too much because it will sit in there. And then cucumber also gives it a really nice uh, flavor and I slice it up fairly thin like that and then you can leave this out all day long and I would uh, refreshen it up every day okay so it's only good for a day it's only good for a day yeah and then again you can put in here in this container um, as much as you want some people I know a friend of mine uses uh, rosemary from her rosemary herb mm -hmm. in water in ro in water yeah okay so. that's a new one and there we go. Stir it up. And there you go. And you can even add some more ice. And then the nice thing about adding ice is it, uh, it, it doesn't make it freezing. Some people like cold water. Some people like it at room temperature. But it just, it helps uh, the veggies or whatever you put in here to kind of keep them fresh as well. Even a little bit of ice or a lot, whatever you want. And then um, it, I think it encourages people to drink more water because it has, again, a slight bit of a taste. I don't know if you want to try some. I do. Check it out. I do actually. <laughs> I can smell it. It smells amazing. But it does, it does get better the longer it sits as well. I think I might use a fancy cup. <laughs> I feel fancy today. And normally I'd put a lid on there for you, but I didn't bring one today. So okay. there you go. There we go. <laughs> See how it tastes. Oh, oh, a little bit oh, of a leaf. Sorry. A little extra. It tastes amazing. You know, the cucumber really hits you. It's so refreshing. refreshing. I love it. Well, thanks, Charlene, for coming on the show. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you, Neri, for having me on the show. And it was nice to have an opportunity to share some ideas. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Well, thanks, guys, for tuning in. I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.